How you doing? Patrick P. Lewis here. In this video, we're going to talk about which precious metal should you buy. Well, there are a couple of precious metals that you could be interested in. There are palladium, there are uh, platinum, gold, and silver. But the most common precious metal that was used as money for the past 5,000 years has been gold and silver. Now, gold and silver has been used, like I said, used for money for the past 5,000 years. And it's just recently in the United States of America, 40-something years ago, that the dollar was backed by gold. A lot of people my age or younger don't really know that or not aware of that. Our older generation remembers that, that the dollar was backed by gold. Many nations, that has always been the case. But unfortunately, that's not the case right now. But gold is money. Silver is money, not currency. There is a difference. Which we have in our pocket, the dollars that we have in our pocket, those that's what we call currency because it waves. It goes with the waves. <laughs> it goes with the current. But money has been gold and silver. So what precious metal should you buy? Well, for the average person, silver is the best bet. Why? Silver right now is, is very undervalued regarding what's the value of what it should be. Presently, today, silver is going about $27 an ounce. So silver is very it's a very popular way to maintain your wealth for the long term if you're looking to get into precious metals. Gold is as well, but for this for this video we're going to stick with silver. So what's what type of silver should you purchase? What should be what 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 silver should you get? Well, if you're first looking to get into precious metals and you're looking to purchase the two main precious metals, gold and silver. I would say go, go for the most popular, most recognizable piece of silver that you can get. And the most recognizable silver that you can purchase is what we call the American Silver Eagle, which is minted in America. And I have one to show you. This right here, as you can see, is a one ounce silver eagle. Bring it a little closer so you can see it. You see? So one ounce silver eagle. Kind of with the glare. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly one ounce. It is minted by the United States. And it is the most recognizable one ounce silver. It is the most recognizable piece of silver throughout the world. Now, there's other counterparts of that. There's the Canadian maple leaf, which is very popular throughout the world as well. But it's a Canada's version of our one ounce silver eagle. It's actually, actually a good looking coin. But I'll talk about that in the next video. For this video, we're going to discuss this, the American silver eagle. Now, this silver eagle right now is trading around $27. This right here is what will maintain your wealth. This piece of right here. A lot of analysts believe that when unfortunately if things get worsen, which they will because of the of the printing that they're doing and the devaluation that they're going to continue to do. The Federal Reserve has stated that is what they're planning to do. So basically if that's the continuation of their goal and the devaluation of our dollars, this will be going up systemically. Some people are saying that this piece, this one ounce of silver, will go up as high as $500, $300. Some people have said $800. They, they don't really know how much is going to go because what's happening in the world right now has never happened before. 
no time in history has any every central bank on the planet systematically are trying to print out the next nation. China, Japan, America, Europe, they're all printing X amount of dollars with nothing backing it up. That has never happened before in history. So this is why a lot of economists, the Mark Farbers, the, the Peter Schiffs, the, the people who are very knowledgeable in this are all saying this. There's no doubt that this one ounce coin or any silver that you're going to have is going to go up. In my last video, I, I explained to you how 10 years ago, gold was at $300. Now, gold is trading around $1,600, 15, between 15, 15 around 1500 to $1,600 within 10 years. So I would say the most recognizable, the most easiest thing for you to purchase right now, that's inexpensive, that can start you on your way in purchasing something, is a Silver Eagle. If you go to any dealership, any gold coin shop that you have in your local area they will have this this coin or let me say they will know exactly what what you're talking about when you're going say, going in there and say hello I'd like to purchase an American Silver Eagle one ounce now because it's so popular just because it's so popular you will be paying a higher premium for this for this coin and I'll explain in the next video what are the premiums, what, 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 what you should know when you are purchasing a precious metal like this or something similar. But my suggestion for your first purchasing, for your first precious metal purchase, buy something recognizable, buy something that the world recognizes on an equal basis. American Silver Eagle. This is Patrick Pierre Lewis. If you like my videos, subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave me some comments. If you have any questions, send me your questions. Um, I'm going to be talking more about precious metals, gold, silver, the market, uh, dealerships. There are a lot of places that you can buy precious metals, but not all so great. They're not all on the same footing. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about precious metals news. Anything that has to do with gold and silver platinum and palladium we will be discussing so subscribe talk to you soon have a great day